Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Doing good. Good to meet you, man. I'm so excited. I, I, I know I told you this, but I want to tell you again. I've been thinking about this trip for years, bro. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what we're doing. I, I, I know, but I want everybody to, to know what this deal is about. This is a special deal you have going on down here. Well, we have a lot of big grouper, which are traditionally fished in deep water on the bottom. Jigging and, them deep. Yeah. Yep. And you know, heavy tackle. We're going to fish them with light tackle. Ah, I can't move him! I can't move him! I can't! Fall, the cool weather pushes them up inshore, yeah. and it creates more of a game fish environment. That one hit so close to the boat, I swear to you, it brought me to my knees. We're gonna throw lures at them, uh, light tackle. When those fish hit, it actually feels like you're running into a brick wall. We're gonna have a good time with it. it uh, it's a fun way of catching a grouper. Here's the other deal I wanna talk about real quick before we get on the boat. Dude, I've been to a lot of trips where, you know, you gotta, you're staying at a place, you gotta drive another hour, you gotta drive another hour to eat. Dude, this is the coolest place. Tell me a little bit about where we're at, because. Here's my room, coming out of my hotel room. Here's your boat, right here. Yeah, it's the Plantation Resort. It's a privately owned resort, and uh, they have a little bit of everything. Yeah. So they're located right on the water. We can pick you up, take you, you know, almost right out of your hotel room door, put you on fish, manatee tours. It's the manatee swimming capital yeah. of the world. Beautiful pool. I mean, I'm sure you, you guys probably saw oh, the yeah. restaurant does a great job. Awesome so it is. It, it's an all-inclusive package in, in an area that, you know, Citrus County doesn't have a lot of that. Yeah. You don't think of a, a true resort when you go to Citrus yeah. County or Crystal River. Yeah. But it is. It's a beautiful little place, and that's kind of why I fish out of here. It's awesome. nice. All right, dude, enough talking. I'm ready to go jack Let's go catch him. Let's do it. So Citrus County is one of the few places in the country, I say few, it's pretty much the only place in the country that you can go and swim with the manatees. Right here in Christian River, it's the, it's the manatee capital of the world. Um, this whole bay that you're looking at right here has about 450 springs in it. Keeps the water in the bay 72 degrees in the wintertime. Wow. It, it gives they the manatee. Lock in there. Oh, they do. When yeah. it gets cold, they are, it's it's like the floodgates, man. Here right. they come. We made a pit stop. What are we doing right now? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some bait. Bait is gonna be some live pinfish. Yeah. Uh, there's a million things that grouper eat, but readily accessible live bait for grouper right. is gonna be a live pinfish. Yeah. And, and that's kind of our go-to. We're gonna call it. We're, we're picking up an insurance policy. Okay. Cool. So, interesting thing is a lot of times when I'm getting bait throwing nets or a sabiki rig, but this is a different deal. Tell me a little bit about what we're doing. So pinfish are really, the, the nice thing about them is they go in a trap. So just like up north, they have minnow traps. Yeah. And there's a, there's a, all sorts of different traps for different fish. These pinfish traps are built for one purpose, to catch pinfish. Yeah. Hopefully you're gonna see in a minute when we pull the first one that, uh, you know, they're loaded up. Cool. This one won't be that great, by the way. This trap never does super well. A little shaky. Ah! Ah! Look at that! It's actually a bigger version of the minnow trap I use at home. It is. Look at that. Whoa! That is bait. Gizzard shad, what is that, bunker? Uh, Threadfin herring. Threadfin herring. So using bait to catch the bait. That's an insurance policy today. If for some reason the artificials don't work, it's a tough bite, we've got some of that thing right there. And that's gonna be like candy for those groupers. Golly, look at that. Pull them every day. This Jeez, look like. is. Oh, that's a good trap. You hear that? The croaking? Oh yeah. That's grunts. We got a crab, a couple crabs in this one. I'm a spider crab! I'm a spider crab! <laughs> we made a run, we made a pretty good run. It seems like, I'm looking around, it seems like we're just in the middle of nowhere, but but we're fishing something special here on the we bottom. Are. What is it? So we've got a little ledge right here. You know, it goes from 10 foot to 12 and a half. It's only that tall. Yeah. But that's all it takes sometimes to hold these these fish. And you know, you find, get you a nice spot like this. Yeah. And throw a plug, and we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully, the fish will cooperate. All right. Now I'm looking at this bait. I've thrown. I love throwing rapalas. I, I love throwing jerk baits, little minnow baits. But dude, this is bigger than what I normally throw. We're trying to key in on their aggression. Okay. We, we, we want them. We want to make it a meal worthwhile, and and also you have to have the hardware, you know, to hold these heavy fish. Heavy duty. Yeah. yeah. Heavy duty hardware. So traditional jerk bait fishing. Your switches. Gonna, reel. You're just gonna reel that one. We're gonna start with a straight retrieve. Throw it out there. Rod tip down. Reel it hard. Okay. Then we'll start with that, and then we'll do some twitch twitch paws if they if they won't eat on the straight retrieve. But yeah. usually the straight retrieve will get them good. Straight retrieve. Okay.
Oh, he's getting bit off. That is not how you start your day. What the heck was that? Uh, I think it was a Spanish mackerel that bit you off. Spanish mackerel? I think. I don't know what happened there. Folks at home, folks at home, that is not how you want to start the day. That's Mike Iaconelli luck right there. First cast of the day, I broke probably 50, 65? 65. 65. I broke 65 pound braid. Like it's freaking dental floss, bro. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? I feel no, bad. No. Literally, it was the first cast. It's something, I mean, blasted it three quarters of the way back to the boat, though. You know? It's probably a gag. I hope they'll still bite. Damn it. I hate to break them off. When we're bass oh, fishing and yeah. we break one off in the school, it's smoked. Same with this. It really? Oh, yeah. Not good. Not good, folks. Hmm. Times I've done that cranking ledges. You break one off and it's just... Kiss of death. It's the kiss of death, man. That that one goes back and he's got that lure. He's, you know, I'm not a scientist, but it does something. Oh, it does something. And I don't know, you didn't have, there's, you couldn't even have put enough pressure on it to set the hook. Oh God, he missed it. I started slowing it down a little and putting some jerks into it. And I had one absolutely blast it right there. Blasted it. Just started jerking it a little bit more. I don't, I don't know if that. God, he. I mean, how do you hit it that hard and not get it? I have no idea. Nervous. I'd be nervous if I was him. Got nervous water here, folks. It's still on there. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, he's on. Come on. <laughs> Is this? Oh, get it! Stick him. That little guy. It little is a little guy. But if we can get him to fire up a little bit, we'll be in good shape. Do have, these things have teeth or can you lip them? Uh, I would not suggest living them. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, don't lip them. Somebody had told me it's like a small mouth in the salt water, but for that fact right there, I would say that's not true. All right, there's the first one. Little guy broke the ice. Come on, let's go. Should you let him run with it a bit or just as soon as you feel it, Jack? As soon as you feel him, reel down tight on him yeah. and then stick him. Okay. Right out here about 20 feet, 20. Oh. I'm good with that. I gotta figure this out. If you out. hook a big one, it's gonna be so funny. From that position, oh yeah, he's gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> We've had four people drug out of the boat. So is that why you told me to bring a change of clothes? <laughs> that is it. <laughs> That's a nice one there. That's uh, kind of more what we're looking for. Yeah. It's a good fish. Six, six pound, seven pound fish in it? Six pound? Yeah. Yeah. It does look a lot like a bass. They're mean. I mean, it, the body type, the shape yeah. and everything looks a lot like a bass. That's a pretty one. So these shallow water fish, they have blue fin tips. Wow. That's from that's all the awesome. shrimp that they eat. Is that what that is? Yep. You can see it on his tail and on his anal fin. Yeah. Go! Pull on him, baby. Yeah, that's a good one right there, man. I gotta get him in it. I have a hernia. Another fish is following him, too. You... Wow. Look at that. They hold these suckers. Just like this. Oh, no, not like that. Not like that. Man, that's awesome. We, uh, Pulled up on this spot, broke one off right away on an artificial, on a big rapala, and it, it really put him in a funk. Switched to some live pinfish. Look at that, look at the is that is he lightening up since you had him out, or are they just- A lot of times they will, they'll change a little uh, bit. But if you look at these things, you, you know, you talk about freshwater bass, smallmouth, largemouth, the body shape looks a lot like it. But these things are twice as mean, and they get twice as big. Awesome, what do you think? Well, we're gonna be doing the Hook and cook tonight, so uh, okay. this, this would be a great fish for it, about 26 inches. Good, All right, let, keep fish. that one and let one go. For sure. All right, let's do that. Wow, that was cool, dude. I'm sure you've seen him with bass. You pull up into a spot oh, yeah. and you miss the first three, and yeah. it's over. Yeah. If you can catch every fish, the fish behind him feed on the intensity and the, the frenzy aspect. All right. Uh oh, got me in the rocks. I think your bait swam in the rocks. 
I can't wait. I'll go, go. Jeez, Louise. That's a little. That fish is really close to the boat. I mean, that's a good, that's like in a tournament, it's like a two pounder. Smallmouth bass of the salt water. In front of the fin? There you go, perfect, okay. right there. Catch a seagull here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm moving them too quick. I got the two pounders down. I think a grouper bit him. I caught the culprit. There he goes. That was him. If this was MLF right now, we'd be in good shape because it's all this numbers. Is, this is not MLF. Let's go. Hit the road. I was. Oh, you got one. Catch one real quick. Wow, look at that. Well, this was a good warm-up spot anyway. I started to get the feeling for what they look like, how they bite, what not to do. For information on the product and gear used in this show, go to MikeIconelli.com and follow me on my social feeds, at Mike Iconelli. And if you want to help grow the sport of fishing, get kids involved. Go to theikefoundation.org to figure out information on how you could help get involved in getting kids fishing.